Uh, okay, the last start subset has to do with tagging up. And I know okay. it's something that, um, you know, you and I, you, you've, you guys have tried to implement in certain ways throughout the last couple of years. So tagging up um, for those maybe hearing it for the first time, an offensive rebounding system of sending possibly all five guys to the glass. So this is the most difficult part about teaching tagging up. So start, okay. sub, or sit. The start would be the most difficult part of it. Okay. Okay. All right. So start, sub, or sit. The discipline of running over the top every time. The transition matchups. So maintaining your transition defensive uh, matchups or potentially not having the right matchup in transition, but your transition defense. Or the last one is just the physicality that it demands on your guys to always go to the boards and to scrum in and to go hard over the top. So start, sub, or sit, the most difficult part of tagging up. I would start um, the going over the top. Um, well, actually, can I say, can I add one? That Please. You didn't? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. How about them just going to the glass, just remembering? Yeah. How about that? Like, <laughs> yeah. just. Yeah, teaching them to remember to do it, and uh, you know, I'm constantly reminding guys, I'm like, tag up, tag up, and these guys sitting there watching his shot, or or he's sitting there watching the ball get tipped around when he could be, you know, at the at the elbow or on the on the nail or something like that. Um, so I think you know the 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 hardest thing for us has been the consistency of doing it, but then also the accountability piece with a limited staff. And so when you only have a couple of guys that, you know, two sets of eyes or so on the practice is constant, the constant reminders that are needed to do it. And then I would then piggyback that into, yeah, the technique of going, being over the top. Um, there was a game this year where we completely lost our minds going to the glass one time and ball went long and we gave out, gave up a run out basket at the absolute worst time in the game when we just lost all focus on, you know, that aspect of, of tagging up the matchup things to me. I like, I really feel like when, man, I, 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 I still feel like we I need to do a much better job of teaching and coaching this. I haven't given up on it by any stretch. You know, I always get, you know, rejuvenated every off season. I'm like, all right, we're going to just do this better. Cause I love the concept of it. Um, but the, the transition aspect of it, I really don't feel like we've been hurt in transition. Um, it's just been, you know, like it's, you know, you, you're tagging up and the, the whole thing is like, it might not be your half court matchup, but we're going to switch to the matchup when we get a chance. And uh, we haven't, haven't really been burned by that a lot. Chad, you, I know with offensive rebounding, um, you have potential some like markers that you'd like to get to of like offensive rebounding percentage. Did you find that tagging up, you were closer to that percentage offensive rebounding you would have liked, or I guess, what is that percentage? And then, um, how close were you or you felt like your team was? Yeah. Um, 33% was the performance is the performance goal that we set for the game for our game goal for offensive rebound. We want to get 33% of the opportunities. And uh, that's something we track in game, you know, like our, our assistants are much better at math than I am. So he can, he can figure that out. Um, and so he kind of gives me an update as we're going along, just as reminders for the guys. Didn't think, I don't think we hit that this year as an average. I think we're maybe, right at 30, 31. Um, I think as the year went on, we got worse and worse, which stinks, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, you know, it's all about getting extra, extra opportunities and extra possessions. So one of the things that we, another game goal of ours is to shoot 48% or more. And I, and I talk about like, okay, what's the process goal to that? Get a lot of offensive rebounds, you know? So if we want to shoot 48% or better, we need to get a lot of offensive rebounds so we can get good putbacks, you know, or kick out threes that are uncontested, you know, so it, it definitely um, folds in with a lot of other things that we're trying to do. And then again, if we want to hold another performance goal of ours is to hold teams below four or 40% or less from the field. And if we want to be able to do that, we've got to get back in transition, you know, so we have to stay true yep. um, to the tag up philosophies. Chad, my follow-up is, you mentioned you had a limited staff, so kind of holding the accountability of the tag up, you weren't able to really maintain. What I guess is the accountability that you'll hold on yourself and the staff to 
make sure the guys are tagging up every time and going every time. I actually think you need, if you want to do it right, you need a guy that's just going to be your tag up coach. Oh yeah. Like that is consistently watching that on a possession by possession basis. Cause you can do it in every drill, any competitive drill, any five on five, any four on four, three on three, whatever you do, you can do tagging up, you know, and have a coach, you know, kind of looking at that, but then it's just tracking it with a bigger staff. You could track it and have statistics for practice like what's your tag up percentage or, you know, like basically just dumb it down to, did you even try, you know, to do it? You know, like, are yeah. you that guy that's just watching while, you know, like the ball goes up um, and then uh, the, you know, just the mentality of the whole thing without fouling. That is another thing that I think we, 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 we would get to the end of Habs and we would only have like three or four team fouls. And you'd think that that would be a great thing. But to me, it's like, I don't necessarily think that that's great. I want to stay out of the double bonus. You know, so I don't want us, you know, holding and grabbing on drives and stuff like that. But I, I don't see that any reason why you can't get a few over the back, you know, or or just some like what you were talking about, Dan, with scrumming and, you know, getting kind of like, uh, you know, jumbled up in the paint, trying to jockey for, you know, that 50-50 position. Why you can't get a foul? Like, just be be physical, you know, like, sure. Um, you know, and so, again, another process goal for us when we, when we talk about that is one, be present and focused on the moment because the presence of that is, Hey, the shot went up. I challenged it. What's the next thing? The next thing is get a rebound. And so if you're in the moment and you stay present and in the moment, then that's your job will be to either block out or go to the offensive glass. And so our process goal for that is just to be, be present and in the moment and then show some mental and physical toughness. 